This week on Youth Questions, we'll talk about college and preparing for that whole experience, loans, advice, resources, all that and more coming up this week on Youth Questions. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and welcome to another week of Youth Questions where every week we answer real questions from real teens about real life. And this week we're going to talk about a question that one of you guys sent to us about going off to college here in a couple months. The question is this, I'm a recent high school graduate and my mom has not prepared me for college life at all. I'm nervous and stressed. I'll be at a small Christian college in the Northeast. Any advice or resources I should check out? What about student loans and stuff like that? Ah, the life of college is coming up. You'll love it, you'll hate it, it'll be a lot of work, it'll be a lot of fun, everything in between. I asked that question to a couple guys who love teenagers, and here's the advice that they have for you. Whether your parents prepared you well for college or maybe not as well, it's a big transition. You're gonna feel nervous and you're gonna feel anxiety and you may not know anybody where you're going to school, uh, but there are a lot of other freshmen going into your new college who feel the same way. And you guys are gonna be able to bond over that as well. So it's okay to kind of feel some of what you're feeling. I mean, this is a big transition. One chapter of your life is ending and another one is, is beginning. Man, it's a sweet chapter, it's a great chapter. And as I just, man, run into it, embrace it, uh, it's gonna be so, so good. A book that I recommend is this one right here. It's called Make College Count, A Faithful Guide to Life and Learning. And it's just a short book, so you don't have to read uh, too too much. And, and it's just a great resource for you to kind of think through some things. I loved college. Uh, it took me a few weeks to kind of get into the rhythm. I missed home. I missed my parents. I, I didn't know what, what I was doing. It was just kind of nerve-wracking, and it just seemed like I knew, didn't know anybody. But the Lord knew where I was going to go to school. And he put some great friends in my life who are still my, my friends today. I know he'll do that. Uh, for you and for all you graduates. It's okay to be nervous and maybe a little uh, just worried about what the future is, but uh, the future is just gonna be good. First thing that you need to do is make sure you fill out the FAFSA. Uh, FAFSA is the government's um, application form for grants and student loans. You need to do that if you haven't already. The student loans are, are unfortunately the way a lot of people pay for school these days. It's the way the system is set up. Uh, it can seem like free money, but you do have to pay it back eventually. So make sure you don't take out more than what you need. Go to your financial aid office at your school and say, give me forms to fill out. Um, inquire about scholarships. There are a lot of them out there. You may uh, qualify for more than you realize. You may have to do a lot of writing and, and writing essays and, and telling them why they should give you money, but don't be afraid to do that because there is a lot of money out there to be had for education. Another recommendation is, yes, you're going to a Christian college, but make sure you get plugged in really well. Find organizations on campus, uh, like a Wesley Foundation or Baptist Student Union, uh, a small group of friends who are really uh, doing life together and um, who are really looking to develop their spirituality, um, their relationship with Christ. Don't skip out on church. That is something really easy to do in uh, a Christian college, but your church home there will be your family while you're at school. And there will be actual families there that will take you under their wings. So don't pass up on that opportunity uh, to be blessed that way. And a lot of times they'll feed you and they'll help you out with things and, and you know give you an opportunity to do laundry. So don't don't miss out on that. I hope that was helpful for you. My best advice is to remember just to be yourself. I know there feels like there's a lot of pressure to try to fit in or be someone else or try to pretend like you're someone you're not just in order to feel like you kind of fit into the college scene. And sometimes, especially as freshmen, you end up doing things that you kind of regret, not because you really wanted to do them, but just because you felt like you needed to. And it's kind of like being a freshman in high school all over again, if you remember what that was like. So just be yourself. Don't feel like you need to impress anyone. In fact, most people really truly respect and admire and look up to people who they can tell are genuinely and authentically themselves and not just trying to be a certain person that became friends. So to so do that, I really think that will go very, very well for you. And if you guys who are watching this have any advice for this person as they're getting started in college, leave a comment below or leave a video response. We'd love to hear from you. And this person too would love to read your comments and your responses and your advice as well for the help that you have to offer them. So thank you for doing that. And if 
this is your first time hanging out with us on Youth Questions, we do those videos for you every week here. So click that subscribe button above this video here on YouTube so you can keep up with all the latest stuff that we're answering. And if you're a teenager and you have a question you'd like us to answer in an upcoming video, we would love to do our best to do that. There's a link in the description below this video here on YouTube where you can anonymously ask any question you'd like about anything you're going through in life. And me and other youth workers, we'll do our best to answer that for you as best as we can here in an upcoming video. So subscribe so you can keep up with that. And thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We look forward to talking to you guys again next week, and I'll see you then. Bye.